Hi there and welcome to this uh, webcast. It's me, Bruce Stransfield from Zycon Colour Services and today we're going to look at what can colour management do for me? Business cases. We're going to look at three main business drivers. Consistent quality, gaining uptime and cost savings. So let's step straight in here and let's investigate a quality. So quality is both subjective and objective, but ultimately we need to be able to produce a product which is of the right uh, consistency and uh, quality in terms of colour, but is also repeatable. So we have quality control and we also have a product. If we have that, we can set expectations. We know what we can do. Or we can remove any colour surprises and hopefully make the colour workflow as painless as possible. So in our first case study we're looking at a commercial printer and like many commercial printers uh, the, the print they do are for end users who are if they're blue chip are using advertising agencies to make the file, make the uh, design and also will supply a proof to the customer uh, especially when it's a high value product. Now by supplying a proof it means that the colour and content has already been accepted by the, uh, end, uh, the end customer. So an expectation has already been set. The problem this company faced was they were given a proof and a file and because they were not using colour management, they were near, but not near enough, which of, often meant they were wrong first time. And so this would lead into a cycle of trying to edit the file, either via the press or via pre-press. However, this would eat up a lot of time and was always ending up in a compromise. However, lucky for us, the proof is a digital proof. And in, if you understand the rules of colour management, we, we understand what this proof is uh, actually showing us, we can copy and paste that result onto our Zycon. Uh, how do we do this? Well, we call it an optimization process. So by taking a measurement from our Zycon, and then calculating in our software's icon color control the, the, the request we actually want to see. We can then load that print condition uh, onto our engines and here presto we can match the customer's requirements. In this case it was to print to Fogger 39 but once we're at this stage we can print to any other expected color condition we need so that could be also for the USA um, and even a tailored profile so the Zycon is representing or printing like another process uh, so you have. So it's a very simple process to do this and there's um, but the results uh, speak for themselves. So now you have smooth production, you have a right first time production. There's no, there's no tweaking, there's no need for any uh, chefing with the press or in pre-press. And that gives you a very sane um, a production environment. And if you deliver on time and you eat, meet those expectations, then of course uh, you're going to have a very satisfied customer and also your press is going to be only producing uh, quality work. So the lesson here was that they were trying to fix colour by guesswork and you move from guesswork and uh, applying all your experience in pre-press and at press to uh, fire and forget. 
often this company would lose as much as a week's production um, simply because they would first of all try to uh, uh, get something there but eventually they would end up with a compromise which would then lead to approval rounds once again and remember the customer had already approved the proof now I've put some numbers on the screen here but I'm sure uh, you can apply your own numbers uh, if, if this kind of situation rings any bells for you okay the next subject is uptime we want to have the most efficient production environment uh, especially if we have a, an environment where we have uh, five toners so we have a wide gamut environment we want to make sure that we are using these toners in the most optimized fashion because what we want is the best color but we want to make sure that we are efficient in doing so which means we need a streamlined production we don't want to put everything or all the responsibility at the end of the production cycle which is the press and the rip we want to distribute as much as we can with the staff we have in our building uh, certain tasks so in this particular case study we have a customer who from day one recognized that for his business and his clientele um, he couldn't compromise on color he needed the best color first time and so he opted for a wide gamut system um, because he had the demands from the field also he had a business uh, where often the pre-printed samples where the color in the sample didn't represent what was in a Pantone book but needed to be reproduced was a core part of his business and he realized that there was going to be a certain downtime in production if he was swapping toners so how to minimize um, um, this 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 hole in your production so these were the demands so let's have a look at what we did um, let's just discuss this a little bit further so if you are stepping into a uh, a wide gamut concept however good your pre-press skills are you will never guess the correct separation to 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 give you the best possible uh, result um, however with our softwares like on color control and color forecaster pro are perfect tools for this so you remove maybe hours sometimes days of guesswork for a process that takes seconds when we're faced with matching samples again we're, uh, we, we need to be able to measure those samples and prepare the job um, this can't be done at the press as a guess or a trial and error you will lose time and effort so let's push the idea behind this is let's use our tools and maybe push it downstream to back to pre-press where people have skills and uh, can work with software uh, in a more efficient way keeping the press free from being used as an experimental machine and finally um, changing toners there's an impact on your production time when you swap a toner so it makes perfect sense that we try to group jobs in such a way that um, the uptime on the toner in a toner configuration is um, maintained the same now this is not a question for the press man again so this is all in the job planning this needs to be pushed even further back to order processing and job planning let's have a look at what we did so of course uh, to uh, make this work we implemented our 
colour management tools like from Colour Control and Colour Forecaster Pro. And the first part of the workflow is obviously the planning of the jobs. Lucky for us, we have very strong predictive tools which uh, are great for people in uh, order processing and job planning where they can uh, look at what the customer's requirements are and group the jobs appropriately. This means the most efficient use of the press and includes uptime. Next was the uh, question around our pre-printed samples. So who best to do this, the press man or downstream from him in a preparation place? A studio is a great environment to do this and staff you, within these environments have very switched on to graphic software. So they take to this um, processing, which is measuring uh, a sample and uh, preparing the job ready for print long before it actually needs printing. So again, everything is ready on the press and being controlled by pre-press before uh, beforehand so this is a, again giving you much more uptime on your printing machine and finally because of our, our workflow is truly optimized um, then we are always giving the best possible result every single time So again, this affects your uptime. I hope this diagram makes sense to uh, everybody watching. And I'm sure for your business, it has, uh, it maybe ring, rings some bells and rings true. Um, next, uh, we're going to look at cost savings. So everybody wants to reduce the material costs uh, this has effect on reducing maintenance cycles you can have flexible costings and you can increase your margins so what did we have in case study number three we have a document customer printing blue chip publications Within th this organization, um, which was a very large conventional printer, they have already decided that their house standard is uh, ISO coated or Fogger 39. And this is what all proofs and all printing is, is driven to. So we have blue chip publications. Um, and we also have a goal. So our there's a line in the sand already being drawn. We know what we have to produce to. So we need to step in there with, like in case study number one, and make sure our print quality hits this standard. And also the standard is maintained. But then we have another challenge. To reduce costs for this customer, we have to look at a way of maintaining the quality by reducing the amount of toner necessary to reproduce the same or very similar uh, print quality. And again, how did we do this? Well, we use our Zycon color control software and this uh, helps us, or this, this not helps us, this facilitates uh, this possibility. Um, this is a whole uh, webcast by itself to discuss the technicalities, 
but from a very simple business point of view, it, it takes a little bit of training and four or five minutes to to create these this, these environments. So here's the numbers. Um, so what what are we looking at on this particular graph? Uh, what we have is on on this axis is the percentage of toner saved. Um, in these columns that we see no color management. So what do we mean by this? This is the default um, printing on a Zycon toner press without ICC color management in four colors. So obviously there's no savings here because it it is what it is it's default we have a we had a heavy coverage document a medium coverage and a light coverage and what we see as we step straight in in our standard using our standard profile that the heavy coverage is already saving 34 percent and as we uh, turn the gas up on this we actually move here uh, to 50%. So the biggest impact is on the heavy coverage, which is great. You can imagine that on a document we hardly any coverage, there's very little we can do. But we see here, we see a percentage trend on a medium coverage document. And even on the light coverage, uh, it's not till we move to our most aggressive setting where we see uh, 15. Um, the biggest question, which I can't really show you in PowerPoint, is what was the visual changes? Um, between one and two, you would see no difference. There was an impact in quality on, uh, on this level for sure but it was still perfectly sellable so the concept here is that you have control over your um, usage of consumables so the benefits i think are quite obvious when we talk about reducing costs but one of the things maybe is not considered is you have a choice on cost now, you also reduce your maintenance cycle because pro rata, you're putting less toner through your machine. And so you actually increase your uptime and become more productive. So those are our three uh, case studies. And uh, I hope they've been of interest. And just to round off this presentation, what may be, uh, some of you may have worked out, is whatever the driver is you start with, so be it quality, uptime or cost savings, if you use our tools, you actually benefit for all the other two things. As you are probably all aware, we are introducing our Panther technology and our colour management systems work for a cro totally cross-platform and will work with third-party machines as well. So thank you for your time. I hope it's been of interest. And if you do have any questions, you can always email me at bruce.dransfield at theflintgroup.com. And again, thank you very much.